A lot has happened in Nigeria over the weekend, from politics to business, entertainment, football and more. In this video, we shall be taking a look at some of the top 5 Nigerian stories that made the headlines. If there is anybody whose team has been extinguished completely, it is that of Atiku. Abubakar says Kenneth Okonkwo. Kenneth Okonkwo, of course, Nigerian veteran actor who has starred in numerous blockbuster Nollywood movies over the weekend, Lambasa, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, maintaining that Atiku is destined to lose the election and should be disqualified. Kenneth Okonkwo, who is a lawyer and now Peter Obi presidential campaign spokesperson, said Atiku has lost the election long before the election starts over genocidal remarks made by Atiku while wooing northern voters to vote for him in 2023. Kenneth Okonkwo has this to say. But if there is anybody that his team has been extinguished completely, is that of Atiku Abubakar, who, of course, should have, should have been disqualified by now by going to the north and making a genocidal statement that Northerners should vote for not only. This was what caused genocide in Rwanda. When Hutus, we are told, that they should not support Tutsis because they are cockroaches. Atiku Abubakar went to the north and said, not tenors should support only the people from the north, not Yoruba, not Igbo. That is ethnic profiling. That's genocidal statement. Atiku knows he has failed. What he's trying to do now is to make sure he destroys our democracy after he has failed. And he should be called to order. INEC should be implementing section 97 of the Electoral Act now on Atiku because that's a criminal offense trying to profile ethnic and religious groups. So it is Atiku Abubakar that I've always said he is very unfit to be president and not only that he's unfit, he is now a threat to our democracy. Well, this does not look true. Let us fact check his claims to confirm if Atiku Abubakar ever said these things. I think what the is somebody who is from the north and who also understands the other parts of Nigeria and who has been able to build bridges across the rest of the country. This is what the Northerner needs. He doesn't need a Yoruba candidate or an Igbo candidate. This is what the northern elite. So I believe I stand before you as a pan Nigerian of northern origin. Thank you very much. And whose turn is it? While Bola Ametinobu insists it is his turn, Nigerians have fired back saying it is nobody's turn. It is not also the turn of any godfather as every Nigerian child above the age of 18 is a shareholder in the Nigerian project. Kenneth Okonkwa also blasted the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, stressing that Tinubu's Emil Okon statements portray him as an ethnic bigot. At uh, Tinubu went to a good state and say it is the turn of the Yorubas. And when it comes down to the Yoruba, it is my turn. That is the meaning of a Miloko. What can be more sectional than that? Has Bula Metinubu ever said such? Maybe Mr. Bullion Van cannot stoop so low to making such derogatory remarks. At this time in our nation's history, when Nigerians need a unifier. Let's find out. <laughs> Number two, Frederick Leonard works Peggy Ovire. Frederick Leonard is a Nollywood household name. He is, according to many Nigerians, a perfect replacement for Ramsey Noah as an actor who plays lover boy role in movies. Frederick can be a tough boss in movies aside his lover boy and son of a king role. He portrays himself a stern image of a boss who can thus be softened through the gentle touch of a woman. His marriage to Peggy Ovire was wild and elegant.
Governor Wiki is for everybody. This man is certainly building his way back to the presidency after coming second in the People's Democratic Party presidential election held in Abuja, where he scored 237 votes to come second to Atiku Obaka, who scored 271 votes to win the PDP primary. Ever since Governor lost the primary, he has been opposing vehemently the Atiku Obaka campaign, accusing them of dishonesty. The CEO of the Igode Pain, the Igode Sweeters, physical ban has in recent times called for the resignation of the IU tenor of terror and deceits, as Wuke claims. You know, as I'm watching you on television now, with a pain death, maybe so, and with a sweet death, when they see me at the end like this, with a pain death, and I promise them, I'm here to bury them. As he de pain them, he de sweet us. As he de rain us, he de pain. Oh yeah, I said, as he de pain them, he de sweet us. As he de sweet us, he go de pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he de pain them, he de sweet us. As we get there, yeah. Ego Ayu says he remains president of the PDP. In this latest episode of the Governor Wicked docudrama, the last man standing governor tackles Buhari. People should thank President Muhammad Buhari for releasing 13% arrears to us. I did not abuse anybody, did I? All I said, please thank you. That if you did not release these arrears to me and some of our states, it may have been difficult for me to even talk about building a renal center, cardiovascular center, basic and clinical sciences, house officers, quarters, and this. It would be difficult. I don't think saying thank you is an offense. Number four, Atiku boasts he will win Anambra State. Such audacity. Atiku Abubaka claims he has all it takes to win in Anambra for the PDP. Anambra is the home of the Peter Obi, presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Atiku's statements appear to be an indictment to Governor Soludo, who has come out openly to attack Peter Obi, saying that he cannot win the 2023 general election and will not even come third if care is not taken. Many Nigerians are of the view that Soludo is working for Atiku for Atiku to come out and say he will win in Anambra state without a word from the governor himself Soludo firing back we may need to flash back to better understand what Soludo said that could or may have necessitated Atiku making this bold statement number five the presidential debate Tinubu absent as Peter B Atiku and Kwakwaso spa for the second time Tinubu absconds from a presidential debate the first event where he was invited but failed to show up and instead sent his vice presidential candidate Shetima was at the NBA conference held sometime in August. In an Arise TV presidential debate, while Peter Obi, Atiku, and Kwakwazo address the problems of Nigeria and how they can tackle and revive the dwindling economy of the nation, Bola Metinubu of the APC has been absent and also failed to review if he failed to attend presidential debates on health grounds. This is what the three candidates had to say on how to bring Nigeria back to life. So that at the end of the day, we can have our uh, society, uh, our young men and women, to go around and to have job opportunities, and of course to have access to food, to have access to. We've got all the statistics, uh, both internationally and locally. Uh, the most important thing is emphasized by both uh, Peter, and the fundamental is education. Trillion economy, agriculture contributes about 4 to 1 trillion, which is about 20 something percent of that economy. 
So it is not. We is very diversified. Our trading is contributing over fifteen percent. ICT is going. Yes. We just took you through the top five Nigerian stories you may have missed over the weekend. In all these, one thing is clear, that every man is entitled to one vote, and every Nigerian citizen is a shareholder in the Nigerian project. Thank you for watching. For more of our video contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Voice Power Media. Follow us on Facebook at Voice Power Media. We're also available on TikTok and Twitter.